Hi, I'm Jim Mowry from Backrack. I'd like to demonstrate the operation of the Eco 2020 today to show you just how easy it is to operate with the one knob recovery process. So I'm going to hook up these two cylinders. I'm going to have this one simulate the condenser and this one our recovery cylinder and move refrigerant from one to another so you can see the speed and the ease of operation of this machine. So I'm going to begin to hook up the process right now. We always recommend that you use an inline filter dryer. If you do, and we uh, would like to say recommend that you do to keep dirt and dust and debris out of here, even though this has a screen in it to prevent anything from getting into it, it's always a good idea to use one of these. If you're smart, you'll mark them so that you don't cross over between 410A and 22 because you know you have to use a different hose set for 22 and 410A to keep those oils from, from mixing together. So in this case, we're using R22, so I'll begin to hook up the hoses for the process. I'm going to be recovering from the liquid side of this cylinder to show you just how well this thing pumps liquid and how it handles the uh, gas. I'm going to recover to the vapor side of the cylinder because if we recover to the liquid side, the only thing left in this hose when we're done would be a plume of liquid and it would be a very messy recovery. By recovering to the vapor side of the cylinder, all we have in this hose when we're done is a little bit of gas, making a much cleaner, neater, less exciting recovery. So make sure the hoses are tight. Before I open the hoses, I'm going to move the machine to the start position to get ready to recover. Once I've opened the valves on the tanks, I'm going to, I'm going to burp the air out of the hoses to make sure that we don't have any air in, in our recovery cylinder. Air is non-condensable and it will keep you from putting all the refrigerant in the cylinder that it can hold. I'm going to zero out our scale so we can see the refrigerant moving as we pump it back and forth. And to begin the process, I'm going to turn on the power, start the machine, and then move the knob from start to recover. If at any point in time I get any knocking sound, I'm going to back off and throttle it a little bit and then ease it into full open position, which is the maximum recovery rate. As you can see, the low side gauge has pressure and so does the high side. The high side is reading the tank pressure. The low side is reading our condenser pressure. I'm going to begin to open this up. Now I'm at the full open position with the maximum flow rate and you can watch as the low side gauge begins to drop as we remove the refrigerant from our condenser cylinder. You can see the hoses jerk a little bit as we actually pump liquid through the hoses. Our scale is rolling up. We've covered over two pounds of refrigerant already in that very short time. We're at three pounds now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to simulate having completed the recovery by closing the valve on this cylinder just to shorten the process a little bit. So I'm going to turn off the gas and you'll watch as the low side gauge moves down into a vacuum as it purges out this line. The machine is now purging this whole line set and after it completes that purge cycle and takes it all into a vacuum, it's going to shut down and be ready for us to move the knob from recover to the final purge position, which will empty the machine of the gas that's inside of it. At this point, this is all in a vacuum. There's no more gas or refrigerant left in here. The only thing is uh, in the machine right now in the condenser. And to get that out, we move this knob over to the purge cycle. This will allow us to empty the machine and have it ready to be able to go from 22 to 410A or back again without cross-contamination because it's going to evacuate itself inside. When it finishes that process, the gauge once more will go into a vacuum. That'll indicate it, that it has completely removed the refrigerant from inside of it. And at that point, we'll be able to disconnect our line sets and complete the recovery process. The 
Recovery process is complete, as you can see by the indicator light right here. We take and turn off the machine. We turn off our recovery cylinder, and then we can remove our hoses to see the cleanest recovery you've ever seen. Just a little bit of gas left in that hose, and this one is in a vacuum, and our line sets are clean. If we wanted to go to 410A now, we would change filter dryer and hose sets and be able to hook right up to this machine and pump 410A without cross-contamination. That's the Eco 2020. It's fast, it's light, it's easy to operate, and it has fantastic recovery rates. Thank you.